What is going on guys? It's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I will be bringing you my benchmark test for the 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro without touch bar. This is just a quick little heads up that I will be uploading the MacBook Pro gaming video followed by the review sometime this weekend. Without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So guys, as is typical with all of my benchmark videos, I have compiled all of the results into a simple table. And at the end of today's outro, I will have all of the video footage just in case you're a little unhappy with any of the results. Now, as you can see, the first test that I did conduct was a Geekbench 4 benchmark test. Now, Geekbench does offer us two tests. Now, these two tests are to test out the 32-bit and 64-bit performance. We then get a score which shows us how well the processor inside the new MacBook Pro is at handling tasks when using its single core or multiple cores. The next test that I did conduct was with Geekbench again, but this time I tested the OpenGL graphical performance. I normally do use GFXbench OpenGL to test out the OpenGL performance of any given Mac. Now this simply might be down to the fact that GFX Bench have not updated their OpenGL application to support the new MacBook Pro. The next test that I did conduct was from GFX Bench, but this time I tested Metal. Now as you see, even on the highest level of graphical intensive tasks, I was still getting an FPS reading of around 65 frames per second. But even when talking about the lowest levels of graphical intensive tasks, I was still getting an FPS readout of around 90 FPS. The next test that I did conduct was a simple network speed test. And as you see, I was getting a download of around 16 megabytes per second and an upload speed of around 1.4 megabytes per second. Now, as you see, the next test that I did conduct was a disk speed test. Now, as you see, the read speeds that I did get were around 2000 megabytes per second with the write speeds being around 12,075 megabytes per second. There are also multiple reports online which suggest that the read speeds are in fact around 50% higher at around 3000 megabytes per second. The last test that I did conduct was Novabench. Now Novabench is a collection of tests, very much like Geekbench, but tests out the hardware performance on the machine. It gives us a rating dependent on the RAM, the hard drive, the processor, and the graphical capabilities. And as you see with Novabench, I got a score of around 690. Now I was interested in seeing how well this MacBook Pro would perform when exporting a 4K file. Now, as you can see, the time that I got for this 4K export was around three minutes, 50 seconds. So guys, that is it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you smack that thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? As I said earlier, I will have the test footage at the end of this outro. So if you do want to see that footage, then do stick around. Now guys, if you are curious as to what my next video will be, then go ahead and add me up on Snapchat. And if you have got any questions or queries, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.
Thank <laughs> you.